Hello, I'm Megan Wade, and we will be discussing John Napier and his logarithms. Who is, or was, John Napier? Well, he is most famous for his discovery of logarithms, which we have used in this class. He was born in Merchantstown, Scotland, on February 1st, 1550. He was alive during the 17th century, which is also known as the early modern period. He was a nobleman, so his family were very wealthy and also very well known. He was married twice. His first wife, Elizabeth, unfortunately passed away, and soon thereafter he remarried. He had 12 children, two from his first marriage and 10 with his second. And of those 12 children, he had six boys and six girls. Now, if we look to the right of this um, slide, you will see the memorial plaque for John Napier that is located in St. Cutherbridge Church. And if we look at the background of this image, I'll use my pointer. We will see the Merchantstown Castle, which is where John Napier and his family resided. And to continue with the previous slide about John Napier's life, he was a very active religious man, but it wasn't until following the Spanish Inquisition that he became active in his church's politics. Um, and this, these activities within his church's politics is what led him to write his very first book, which is titled here, A Plain Discovery of the Whole Revelation of St. John. And if we look again to the right of this image, this is John Napier. And one more fact about John Napier, he passed away from gout. Now, another noted discovery by John Napier is his discovery of bones. Um, and this use of bones was um, a manual calculating device. Now, it's not as well known as his logarithms because, unlike logarithms, we do not use bones today. But if we look at the top right side of this image, I'll use my pointer again, we can see an image um, of an example of John Napier's bones. It looks like a little wooden box. This is not the original, but this is an example of what his bones would look like. And um, a few more interesting and noteworthy um, accomplishments during his time was one, Hans Lippershey's discovery of the refracting telescope. Of course, that's a very important discovery. Another, Cornelius Drebbel's discovery or creation of the first human-powered submarine, which is wild to think about it, all the way back in the 17th century. And lastly, William Autred's discovery of the slide rule. Now this one is important to note when we are noting John Napier's discovery of logarithms, because it's just an example of what logarithms brought about. Um, it was from John Napier's time period, but it was due to John Napier's discovery of logarithms that allowed William Autred to discover the slide rule. Um, and if we look at the bottom right of the screen over here, here's an example of William Outred's slide rule. One last thing that's important to note is that during this time, there was not many available calculating devices. So that makes John Napier's discovery of logarithms all the more astonishing and important. Okay. What were and are his logarithms? Of course, were and are because we still use them today. Let's begin by discussing his manifesto. Within um, John Napier's manifesto, he provides tables and numbers and functions in order for us to accurately use his logarithms. The title of his manifesto is on the second bullet here. I will give it my best shot. It is Mirafici Logarithmorum Canaris Descripto. It was published in 1614, and one thing to quickly note, um, it's important, is that it was quickly accepted. 
Um, it took him 20 years to work um, on this, his manifesto or his logarithms, and it took him those 20 years because he was working to get it to the functionality that we still use it um, to today. Of course, we use these logarithms within our class, um, but if you would like to look back and find these logarithms just to review, you can look in book number one, section 6.3, titled Logarithmic Functions. Now, lastly, I just want to end with this image on the top of the page. I just wanted to provide an illustration of what his logarithms would look like. This is using Desmos. Um, of course, use color to color. So this logarithm at the top right says log 3. Um, that corresponds with the blue line, vice versa with the green. And one more quick thing to note, I wanted to use this image to emphasize the fact that logarithms help us when we are calculating exponentation or we're calculating exponents. Um, it, of course, helps for a more swift and quick calculation. So we can see over here we have the exponent calculations, and over here you can see them turned into logs. And here is my Works Cited page. That concludes this presentation on John Napier and his logarithms. I hope you enjoyed.